Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with the Penny Puncher. This puzzle here made and designed by Matt of MW Puzzles in Great Britain. And this is actually Matt's second puzzle. The first puzzle, the first puzzle I've already reviewed in the past was this one. It's called Three the Pack with this amazing looking puzzle here and Matt proved with this one that he is not only an excellent craftsman I mean look at the thing it looks just amazing but also from puzzling point of view a, an excellent designer because this actually contained a trick a significant trick I've never seen on a puzzle before it was only possible to realize this trick by these two properties an excellent design idea and excellent craftsmanship to realize a great puzzle if you haven't seen this one yet check this link up here okay but today today is not about this puzzle today is about this puzzle which is still in the box sealed and i will open the thing up now never had a look at it only saw it on a picture yet the penny puncher and let's have a look what this thing looks like and what it is about Thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy. We got Matt, mwpuzzles.com, MW Puzzles logo, and MW Puzzles second puzzle, the Penny Puncher. Also anodized in black with some brass components, and I also see some acrylic here in addition. Wow, oh wow, this looks very unique. Pretty cool some plastic parts this time also included increase the height the width is the same and the length is also the same it stayed for a longer time in the bath you can see this is much more black than this one. Oh, and uh, one thing came off here I hope this is intended and it was actually located here I think okay Not sure if it's a tool or something we're gonna find out but let's first have a look at the thing so I won't touch anything right now there are two of these things here of those plastic caps with these acrylic pieces on top got a brass piece here we got a brass piece there got a brass piece here nothing over here and the logo and back here a screw and a hole is there an instruction which is telling me by the way what's the task of this puzzle ah here okay it's not called the penny puncher it's called the penny pincher <laughs> i just noticed the penny pincher okay oh my fault and here are the rules the penny pincher can you find the coin trapped inside the penny pincher no hitting shaking or spinning required do not remove reflective covers on round dials okay so actually one piece came already out as you as you uh, saw this one here it just fell off you should not do that but it's hard to not doing this because this is just falling out by itself so but i will ignore what's what's below and after spot break you're gonna see my first attempt trying to do so so here we go the penny pincher pincher okay sorry matt <laughs> i should not remove those not sure why because this looks pretty much like it can be removed there's a small gap as you can see right here i don't know i won't touch it for now okay maybe later <laughs> Then these are spring-loaded. This thing here is spring-loaded. Another one here also. Yes, also spring-loaded. So maybe I can push them at the same time. Not working. Can I pull this off here? No. This, this frequently comes off, so I will just leave this here aside. Even if I should not take it off. I mean, this is impossible to not take it off, actually. So I'll just leave this thing aside. Can't I also do anything on this one? There's this little, this little metal piece here, but I can't do anything. I, maybe I can push this in later if I have a tool or something. But what to do? I mean, I mean, this looks like it can be. Oh yes! Oh yes! You saw this? I just pressed this in, and I needed a lot of force to do so. Actually, here I press this in with some force there's a lot of resistance but i can press it in can i maybe also pull it out with a lot of force let's see Whoa. Whoa. okay this was difficult now i can move this thing 
Not sure if it's intended to be that hard or if it's ah, okay. Okay, now it's now it's easier. Whoa, it comes out by itself again. You see this? Let's see. Can maybe rotate this thing here. Push it in and rotate it. I hope not everything will be now as difficult to move as this one. Oh, 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 oh! This was stuck for a second. No. What? Oh. Oh. What? What? You heard this? Something was like scratching or something. No, again. What? I will also not put this on again here because it, it just fell off by itself. Okay, so when looking at this side, maybe this is, okay, this is like a not intended hint. Maybe there's like a pin or something and I need to make it drop somewhere here inside the thing, the slider. Blah. So far I discovered pretty much nothing except this thing here. <laughs> And that it makes some strange noise if I twist it and sometimes gets stuck, like like here, right now. I'm pretty sure I need to slide this thing somewhere. Maybe twist it and slide it to another direction or something, but and put this then somewhere else. Maybe against this pin, I don't know. Hmm. Difficult one, difficult one, guys. What? What just happened? I will not put this inside again, but I will keep this outside, but I would like to understand what happened. <laughs> I just played around with it. And it, what? I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Seriously. This was just like, I mean, I pulled this out and it just popped out out of nowhere. Oh, now it's in again. So, but now, now, I got this tool and it contains a magnet, a magnet. So, let me see, Wh what about the pin? Where's the pin? Oh, it's magnetic, it's magnetic. And now, <gasps> whoa, I can pull it out. Yes, I can pull it out, you see, woo. And now, now, let's see, can I shift it? No, no, no change. Oh, 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 I can rotate it. Oh, and there's a notch down here. And then it will drop in again over here. No. I think it was like here. Yes. I'm so sure the penny is inside here. Ooh, man, this thing drives me crazy. This is a bit too run bit random here for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> this is this works like a kind of an with a kind of an under pressure. There's a pin that's soaked inside or something. I, I have no idea. Can I lift it here? No. Can I turn it? Twist it? No. 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 You can hear like it's popping out. Okay, so let me think for a second. Okay, no, because there's there are only limited possibilities in here. So how, how to lock that pin? So if there's a notch in the pin in this direction, it could interfere with the pin. And there's also this thing over here, which could interfere with the pin. <laughs> so map gave me the tip sometimes you need to move backwards to move forward let's move all these steps backwards huh what what 
Oh, this was the this was the sneakiest trick ever. I would have never, never, ever found this. And now it makes sense to me. Move backward. You oh. And to release the last tool, you need to put it back in backwards, like so. Close it again, and it will push out <laughs> this little lid here which is hidden below the penny pack a lo uh, the penny puncher logo no the penny pincher logo oh my gosh i just i would never uh, this okay this this i think this only trick here makes this puzzle a level 5 puzzle for my point of view or level 10 puzzle here and now this i mean this fits perfectly it must work yes <laughs> The penny with the queen. So here we go, man, this puzzle. This puzzle is absolutely crazy. So in a minute, you will agree that this is really a one of a kind ingenious puzzle, I tell you. This is super brilliant. I just assembled these two discs to be able to explain you better how this works. The first step was actually the following. It was bringing this disc and especially this little white, I don't know if it's a ceramic ball or a plastic ball, into the correct position which is on this little hole here yeah i had to twist it this bring it in the right orientation that this little ball was getting in this position here and if i continue to twist there's a, a slight chamfer here or like a ramp in here and it will compress the ball and push it here on this hole super tight on this hole and this is what happened when i twisted and i got stuck and nothing moved anymore that's, it was that this hole here was closed. So if I pull this one out, nothing will happen. But if I block, if this one is in and I block the hole I create by pulling this one out, since it's, everything is so tight and under pressure, which then releases a pin over here and it looks like this in detail. If you look inside here, there's this little pin which will lock this piece here in place by this hole. And if I pull or push here, nothing will happen with this pin. But if I push this one in and block this hole with this ball, this pin will actually disappear and release this piece inside. Pretty brilliant mechanism, super clever. And when the pin is then pulled in and released, I can get this thing out, get the magnet out. I twisted this disc here into a position from like here where the pin was. The pin was inside here. I pulled it out with the magnet. If you remember, I pulled it out and when I pulled it out, I was able to rotate the disc to this position here, like so. And there's this little pin down here, which then enables me to slide this one over here and release this hole, which I'm gonna need later on, okay? After I released this hole, and this was the most trickiest part from my point of view, and makes this a clear level 10 puzzle, you need to take this thing, put it back in here, but this time, not like this, but turn it around 180 degrees and I did this randomly. You might have noticed this. <laughs> Put it in here. And if I then close it, the magnet, which is then opposite, on the opposite side, will push out the logo over here, like so. Bam, just in the right position. <laughs> oh man, this is so crazy. Revealing the last tool. The last tool will go in here and pulling a slider, a spring-loaded slider, which sits in here, to the side and then I can release the coin super just super brilliant I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by the creativity of this puzzle I mean every step is right in front of your eyes but I was just not capable to execute it this was I mean every time I found another step I was blown away by how this actually could work so regarding difficulty I mentioned this before I will rate this puzzle with a level five out of maximum or five. A killer, an absolute killer. I'm so glad I did it in the end. That's it for today. I hope you liked this episode and I hope, I really hope you like this puzzle as much as I do. If yes, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and until next time, keep on puzzling.